Are you a dance studio or tutor and want to create an online registration form? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And like I mentioned, if you are a dance studio or even a tutor and you're offering dance classes, having an online registration form is gonna make things so much simpler for your users. So let me show you how to make one. First, we're gonna go to the top left-hand corner. We're going to create a brand new form. And for this example, we're going to use a template. Let's do a quick search for dance. And as of right now, we can see we have 19 templates for dance registration forms. And I think for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one right here. Now, one thing I like to do whenever I'm utilizing a template is I always wanna do a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So we can see the fields that are already there. We have name, email, we have their gender, address, types of dance. We have their start day and any type of comments. And one thing with these templates is we can see that there is a colorful background and there is a header image. Now, for this example, we have our own dance website. So we're going to want to embed this form on that website. So I want to kind of make this a blank slate. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this form designer, the paint roller in the top right hand corner. And I want to go ahead and change out the page color and the form color. Let's make these both white and we can get rid of that picture up at the top. And as you can see, even though we have changed the page color and the form color, that background is still there. So one thing you wanna check is over on the next tab, which is going to be styles. Wanna scroll down and look at the custom CSS. And we can see right down here that there is a background image for our background. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete that background. Perfect, and now we are completely white. Now we can go ahead and X out of this. Now, again, as a template, it's going to give us all of these fields for us. Now, we're probably going to want to know more things about our students. So on the left hand side, let's go ahead and add a new element and I want to know their age. So for this one, we can use a number element right here and we can say age and I want to know their level of dance. So on the left hand side, again, I'm going to go ahead and do a drop down. We can put that right down here underneath the types of dance and we can do level and we'll choose our options all right beginner intermediate and advanced perfect and maybe we want to add in an emergency contact so we can go ahead and add this in here and i'm going to go ahead and copy this and we're going to add in a phone number perfect and because this is a registration form we want them to go ahead and pay so over on the left hand side we have a ton of different payment integration options so for this i'm going to go ahead and choose Stripe, we'll put this right down at the bottom and we'll go ahead and connect this account. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over into test mode and we are good to go. Now we can also change the payment type. Right now we're on sell products, but we can also sell subscriptions, have a user defined amount, or we can collect donations. So for this, we're doing our registration. We can leave it as products. Let's go ahead and continue and we can create our product. And we'll say that fee is $100. And if you want, you can add in a short description and even an image if you would like. We can go ahead and save. Now we are ready to share. So up in the top, the top right hand button under publish, if we want, we can copy this link and we can send this out in our email communication. We can put it on social media, or like I mentioned, we're actually gonna embed this form on our dance company's website. So on the left hand side, I'm gonna choose to embed. And I'm just gonna choose the basic copy code, but you can see we also have other options as well. So I'm gonna jump over to our website and over on the left hand side, I'm gonna choose the plus option. And wherever you are adding in, there's going to be some type of an embed code or an embed HTML. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. We'll paste in our form and we'll do update. And we can X out of this and we can make this fit our page. And we are good to go. We have our form on our website. So let's go ahead and give this a test. I'm gonna go up in the top right hand corner. Let's go ahead and do a quick preview and let's get this filled out. And we have our registration fee and we can submit and we are good to go. So let's go ahead. I'm going to jump back over into our job form account. We are currently in our form builder, but I'm going to choose to head over to our tables and we see all of Jennifer's information here, including her registration fee and the transaction ID right down here. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to create your own online dance registration form with job form and embed it on your website, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.